Okay. Yes, so, um, the third topic we want to talk about is managing users with an API. Um, why do we want to do this? Um, in Germany, the law obliges website operators to uh, first inform users about all their sto stored data um, in the database or any stored data actually. And you have to give them this information on a request. So if a user comes to your website and says, hello, uh, what do you have to uh, start about me? You do need to give them all this information. And the second one is the um, right to be forgotten. So you need to delete all the stored data of, uh, of the user if, well, if they request this. And uh, a third little point is um, in our setup, uh, we don't manage the users that's done by the libraries and we use single sign on for um yeah for login and how this works is if a user a new user logs in um we get this username and uh, create uh, then viewfight creates a new user but uh, sometimes uh, the users in, in the library uh, get new library cards and uh, thus uh, they get new usernames so um in viewfind, they will get uh, also a new account. And then the question is, okay, how can they keep their favorite list and something like this? So we would like to handle this. Um, let's have a look at the database. So when we talk about all the stored use, uh, user data, first of all, well, we have the user table where you have uh, the username, the last name, first name, and so on, email, and you have related uh, tables for example, the favorite list. So there you have the list, the resources, and so on. Um, you can have comments and, well, there is a whole bunch of this stuff and um, you uh, need to inform users about all of this information or delete it on request. And how would uh, how could you do this? Um, the first solution would be you could do this and perform all the necessary but that's not really an idea um, because they can you can make errors or forget something and um, yeah you can really mess up this and you shouldn't do this with a you could, uh, create some bash scripts to reduce the work or automate this in in some regard but you still need to to log into the database and perform this uh, task by hand. And um, yes, the third option would be to let the users do it their own uh, on their own on the website. And uh, for deleting accounts, that's uh, already possible in Viewfind since version 5.0. But um, in our case, that's um, still uh, we want to have another option for this because, uh, as I said earlier, we don't manage uh, uh, the users, but the library uh, libraries do. So if they um, if a user asks them about the stored data or, the, or orders them to delete it, they have to contact us, uh, us and we we will do this. Um, and this is where an API would be really helpful to do this, uh, to automate this. So the, the libraries or the library management system for the users, they could uh, use this API to automatically do this and uh, we don't need to be involved anymore. All right. Um, the basic uh, implementation for this shouldn't be really a problem because, well, deleting the user, that's already part of Viewfind, so we could use this code and inform uh, and, and gathering all the information uh, isn't also that big of a task. But um, the main uh, problem here, we think, is the security. Because if we have an API uh, that can do this, uh, it's really harmful if it would be open to, to the public and with no security at all, because well, anybody could then use this API to delete their accounts or uh, steal their personal information. Um, so we need to somehow control the access to the API. And uh, yes, you could, for example, stick it with IP addresses and maybe use some secret tokens for the authentication. Um, what we didn't want to do is grant uh, access to this power to all the admins. Um, and the reason for this is also that we don't want to have this easily activated. So if you, for example, can activate this API or make it 
uh, open with just um, well a small error in the configs, I think that would be really bad. So this should be really uh, secure. So how did we do this? At the point when we developed this, it was um, the simple solution for us to create another service for this uh, in Java. And we work with MariaDB. And um, as you can see here, uh, our setup in um, our setup, uh, the users could still use uh, our viewfind installation behind an engine X. And uh, this viewfind, uh, well, communicates with the database of viewfind. And also the, the management system for the users can work with this API um, to perform all these tasks. Um, what it can do, there are uh, three methods or functions uh, the uh, that I motivated in the beginning. So the first one is acquire all the user information in a custom format. So for example, it could look like something like this. This is the, the uh, user table where you have the username, uh, the first last name, email address, and so on. And maybe if the user has stored some uh, favorite lists, uh, they can also be shown here in the readable format. The second one is to, to delete all this information. And well, the third one is this, uh, that what I mentioned earlier, if you have a new user that actually isn't a real new user, but uh, we can't really um, detect this, uh, then we would have to uh, move all the information of one user to another user, uh, to the new username. And it's uh, secured by IP addresses, and uh, we use token-based authentication for this. Um, what it can't do yet is it only works with MariaDB, and it's not super easily customizable for other database models. It doesn't uh, also doesn't manage backups, and it well it needs to be set up separately uh, from viewfind. So, how do we move forward with this? Um, we would like to to share this with the community, um, but we think that our current solution isn't really optimal for this because uh, you would have to do um, still customizations for your for your systems. And uh, the, maybe the better solution would be to include this in viewfind. So there's already a JIRA ticket from 2014 about something like this. And I think Probably it was really thought about, but uh, until now, nobody had the time to do this. But uh, since you find nine, we have an admin API, and this sounds like something we could, could uh, build on and where we could include this functionality. So, um, what we want to, uh, why we shared this with you is uh, we want to make this available to, to the community. But uh, depending on the interest in this, uh, we will decide how we will do this. So first of all, if you're interested in this, and if you think this is something you could use, please contact me so we can get a picture on how how big is the interest in this. And then uh, we can decide how to move forward with this. If there's only a few people who are interested in this, um, well, maybe we will show uh, only share our current and code, but if there's bigger interest, we would like to discuss how we can include this in viewfind directly. So um, there are still some questions. Maybe there are already better solutions that we don't know of um, for this. Maybe someone else is already working on it and we, d we don't know this of this. Or, well, if, if there isn't any better solution, currently we would like, uh, we would, uh, do this uh, for for viewfind and include it in there but then we still need to um be sure to do this right so maybe um you have ideas about how to better secure this or uh, or even we we are focusing on german law here so maybe you have in your countries you have other laws uh, which where um, other topics would be uh, relevant so we would like to to hear about this uh, what do we have in, uh, to keep in mind if we if we do this or if uh, when we approach this. Okay, um, yeah, that's, that's about this. And uh, thank you.
for listening. And um, yeah, if you have still, uh, if you, you, I think we have some time now for questions. Yes, but if you have later questions, you can still contact us. And well, for the for the last um, topic, you can write me an email directly. And uh, right here we have uh, it also a demo for the for the explain feature uh, in, from the last talk. So if you want to check this out. You can also do this with this URL, URL and, uh, and yeah, yes, this is the example with Hamburg, Berlin, and China. Okay, yeah, thank you.